one of the things you talked about um, when we were kind of prepping for this podcast was, the, and you kind of mentioned it, the importance of having kids have the opportunity to kind of stick out and share their own story. And you actually shared something about your, you're a twin. And yes. that's part of that. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about that experience? And, yeah, and yeah, oh, ab- absolutely, absolutely. And, and um, it's interesting because I, as you know, I did a TEDx talk and I wove my whole story about being a twin into personal branding because there is no doubt that it shaped my quest um, to to work on my own personal brand, but also to to help others. This, if you think about it, like growing up as a twin has its challenges. You know, constant comparisons. Stacy, you know, like why do you weigh more than your twin? Mm. What you know? Why does she get better grades than you? And I remember having one aunt that I don't even think that she knew our names. We were just like known as the twins. Yeah. And of course, you know, we shared a room, we had twin beds until we were 16. So I always wanted to be unique and memorable. And that's what personal branding is, is about. And really the biggest compliment that someone could give me growing up was like, Stacy, you are so unique. Mm-hmm. So again, I have, and I feel like it's a gift. Like I know how to package things. It doesn't matter if it's a product. It doesn't matter if it's a service or a person. I want to crystallize the, um, like their uniqueness. Like what, because there's a misconception, right? Personal branding, a lot of people think it's like narcissistic. It's like me, me, me. But when it's not, it's really like, what is the value of you to others? What can you contribute to the, the college campus? And so it's, finding again what your value is and why should someone choose you why should you land on the top of an admission officer's pile and the same flows through to if you're looking for an internship or trying to get a scholarship or or a job or even to that matter online dating right i've had some single friends like ask me for their help yeah yeah that that that's a yeah, that's a really important aspect of this too, because I think um, sometimes there is this like social media is fake, and you know you're a certain way when you're offline compared to online, and there there is some truth to that for myself. And the way that I explain it is, for example, do I swear? Of course I swear. I swear terribly, right? Do I swear in social media? No. And the way the way I treat it is it'd be like me teaching in a classroom. Like I wouldn't swear in front of students. So why would I swear in social media? And it's, it's not about being fake. It's understanding the context, the context of where you are, um, who you're connecting with, and you don't want to lose opportunities for this too. So that's one thing that I try to explain to people. It's there. Yeah. Of course, some people are fake. They're, they're portraying something that they really are not, but understanding that people understanding context doesn't mean they're fake, right? Like I share a lot of my ups and downs. I don't know how much you Googled me before. I know we have mutual connections, but like I have struggled with my weight for years and years and I've lost like 120 pounds over the last year. And I've shared the struggles I had with that, what I was trying, what I was doing. And a lot of people have appreciated that I shared that journey, not just when I found success, but when I was struggling with failure and they connected with me in a different way. And I would have those same conversations with my students and that's what makes us real and relatable. And I think that's a really important aspect. And one of the things that you said, and I love this, you said, here's like a four word quote. And I wrote it down as soon as you said, um, add value, not clutter. What do you mean by that? And I love, I, I take a, I have a perception of what that means. What's your, what, what do you mean by that when you share that? Yes, and I will answer that in a second, but I just want to tell you that I personal branding is about being authentic and real, and I love vulnerability. I think we can show the weaker parts of, of ourselves. It, it makes us makes us all real, and we all have our own struggles. So thank you for sharing that. So add value, not clutter. That is that is definitely my mantra. It, it there is so much clutter out there. And people just turn off to it. And a lot of people will will post, for example, on social media just to make sure that they get their one post in a day. 
But no, I'd rather see someone post valuable content that their audience is going to relate to. So we've all heard the term return on investment, but I like to use the term return on engagement, right? Because what you want at the end of the day is you want people to, to see your content. You want to make it real, you want to make it relatable, and you, and you want to strike up a conversation. That's what social media is. It's a two-way exchange. And I think when I think when people are just adding posts just to just to feed the, you know, the content beast, it's just it's worthless. It's it's a waste of time because it's like you've got to make every word count, right? You've got to make every word count and you have to like even think about like all of your different touch points. I even tell kids by the way, George, that like even your email signature is it's mm -hmm. priceless real estate as you're sending it out to admission officers or alumni put something there about yourself maybe you know put in a, a link to a video or or maybe create a tagline for yourself so so again i i it's it's like I guess also as, as a news junkie, because I'm in the media, but I've also been in the media. Uh, wait, I'm in the media, but I also right. am in the media. I also say to people, you've got to be your own news channel. Yeah. And so I look at content with for news value from like zero to 10. So everything we put out there, put it through the who cares test. Mm 